welcome back to another one. What'd you think of that? Wow. It was quick. It was to the point. Yeah. Juicy. It was good. That yeah. was really good. I liked it. You, and, you and Gerald wailing on the lesser calls? Yeah, yeah. The intro was juicy. That's the first time I've heard it. No P. Diddy, you killed it. Yeah. Yeah. Joe's overwhelming shoot them there, guys. Yeah. <laughs> so, oh, my God. <laughs> that was a natural react. You can tell Dude. he was in caveman mode. Oh, yeah. The best part about that. Was how naturally excited he was, and I just I can't get over it. I've played it a million times. I didn't, I didn't even hear it until you said it. Now I can't not hear it. Yeah. the entire time. <laughs> and I was like, man, I heard I heard like the early me. edition of the the intro, but like the finish killed it. it was awesome. Yeah. yeah. But uh, anyways, here we are, episode one of Blind Talk. Uh, we're gonna recap the top five hunts, and Bob's gonna give you a little. Uh, I guess, description of how the yeah. subscription and stuff's going to work on Patreon. Yeah, so, guys, um, here we are. Uh, we're we're in year four going into five on the YouTube channel, and obviously we have a, a whole lodge and guide service going on, and we have Drew and Gerald and, and Preston here. Uh, three Joe. of the first, and, and Joe, obviously. He'll be on here here in a bit. Uh, but these are the five guys that help everything just run every day, whether it's... P. Diddy uh, ed- editing and allowing me just to upload a video and, and, and allow me to guide uh, or G- Gerald that runs every hunt and uh, declares how every spread will be set or Drew, man, he he sacrifices a lot of his hunting time to be behind the wheel. So um, we're firing up a, fi- uh, sorry, a podcast and you guys have requested it for honestly a lot of years and we're doing it and I got to thank Preston. Uh, I this the structure, all this, this lighting. Uh, obviously, we're in the lodge, but Preston provided all this production, and and I hope you guys enjoy it. What we're gonna do? Uh, we're gonna do the top five hunts of the season. Uh, we got some duck hunts, we got some lesser hunts, but I want to tell you guys we have a Patreon going. A lot of you guys have been saying, Bob, get a Patreon, Bob, get a Patreon over the years. And I never understood what I might be able to do with it. Well, this is it. Um, We're going to do some podcasts and we're going to do a 30 day uh, monthly subscription. Five bucks. Five bucks is one McDonald's meal a month. All you got to do is subscribe to it. You're going to get, we will make sure to over provide for anybody that does subscribe to the podcast. Uh, You're going to get behind the scenes. This is called Blind Talk. Uh, Gerald, good name. Blind talk. <laughs> Behind the scenes, dude. I mean, it, there's a, been a lot of people that's came through, uh, whether it's Cody Stokes, owner of Die Bomb, or a normal client that was like, Bob, your viewers don't understand who you really are. And I hope that these podcasts will provide a little behind the scenes so you all can see not only myself, how I am just not on a YouTube video all the time, but what we're dealing with you know there's a lot of times that everything isn't great and there's reasons so uh podcasts will be i don't know five six seven eight a week sorry a month yeah. eight, eight a Whew. month maybe six <laughs> six a month four four to eight a month i don't know but five bucks a month uh i will link the the uh, patreon podcast account if you want to go subscribe to it right now we're gonna have some uh huge giveaways on the podcast for podcast subscribers only. We're going to do a big ducks giveaway. Uh, we're going to give a, away a two-man hunt here at Sand Hill Flyway for next season, 2021 season. It'll be a fall hunt here at the lodge right here. Uh, hope one of you guys win it. So go down in the description uh, at the end of this. Watch it first. If I mean, if you really want to go down there, you can just go down there and get it done right now. But go down there and subscribe, five bucks. It's literally a coffee every 30 days. That's not bad for a little bit Starbucks, of inter- entertainment. Starbucks is more than that. Starbucks is way more than that. Yeah. So here it is. We're going. Top five hunts. P. Diddy has put together uh, a collaboration of some of our top five hunts. And uh, we're going to describe them before we play them to you. And uh, before we get into it, I want to just give a little introduction. Drew, 
he hasn't had a solid introduction. Drew has been a vital, 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 vital part of this entire season. His wheels, tires are on the road every day. He's sitting spreads in the morning. He's cleaning up after he scouts and then comes home and helps process birds together. And I just want to say. He fixes all the stuff we break. He fixes yeah. everything. <laughs> if, the, if the Argo breaks, he, he fixes it. If a trailer yeah. breaks, he, he fixes it. If, if um, something needs to be logged and written down in a book somewhere, he does it. He's, he's our organizer for sure. So I want to say thank you, Drew. Yeah, and he will help any of us with anything. Like earlier I asked him, like, hey, let's get this set up before Bob sees it. Just get it going. I took a long He was right on it. Day. Yeah. I took a yeah. Real, oh. real long. I took a four hour. It was needed, hour. though. You've been on a, <laughs> a hefty streak. You yeah. have, too. Yeah, you but, like, there was twice this week where I was like, hey, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to scout. Yeah, I've been going hard, but I've been loving it so much. Oh, it's been a blast. It's been good. awesome. It's Couldn't been ask for anything better. It's been a good season, and and we've been we've had a lot of questions, not only from you guys, whether it's Facebook, for Sand Hill Flyway Facebook, mm-hmm. Gerald runs that. Uh, a lot of people just reaching out. Even we had Dive Bomb and uh, born and raised in, and they were like, you know, how how is it? Because it's a, I'm a YouTuber that started a guide service, so it's going amazing. Couldn't ask for anything better. So, have one hell of a team. Just to uh, just to let you know, the podcast guys, uh, they are paid for a reason. Um, I, I the channel, uh, I like to keep it family oriented. I like to keep it clean. I don't like to cuss. So this this uh, podcast will be a little cleaner than what will be actually on Patreon. So if you guys want to get behind the scenes on everything and get the reality. It's for the uh, the adult. It's for the adults. That's why it's that's why it's paid. I know you can go to iTunes and you can go get a free podcast. I get it. That's fine. Go do that if you want to do that. But if you want to pay five bucks, it's up to you. It's a little more fun. Yeah, it's, yeah, fun. it's it, fun. It's it's my way to um it, to to do this to you express know? your true self because a lot of people out there don't know. The other side of you. They see the YouTube side of you. And and everybody that meets you knows. All of us. Yeah. Yeah. No, not, yeah, yeah sure. every, all everybody, of us. Every one of us. Yeah. It's, it's definitely it, a way for us to let loose. Let yeah. Her yeah. Hair. yeah. Not that let we're like down. crazy or wild or anything. <laughs> not that, I mean, yeah. Not that last we're insane. Night I was in bed by 830. Yeah. So <laughs> <laughs> we go to bed early. Yeah. Uh, but it, it's a way to um, to just relate. If that, if that makes any sense, you know. If you're 20, if you're 25, if you're 30, if you're 40, if you're 40, 50, I don't care. If you're 60, I don't care. The, the podcast will be just hunting. Maybe not always hunting. It might be, it be something personal. It might be something be that hunting. Drew's dealing with at home and we're here for him. Or it might be it might be uh, just anything we're dealing with at the time. So we'll keep it, keep it extra organic. That's for sure. Yep. But top, blah, 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 top. Five hunts. Yeah. So let's start it out here with the uh, dive bomb hunt we just had two days ago. Yeah. Unreal. Incredible. Unreal. I think that my, my first deal was we were all so scared. It was pouring rain. We knew it was going to be pouring rain. And somehow Mother Nature stopped raining for us to put up the blinds, put Stop. up the spread. Stop raining a little bit. It yeah. still, <laughs> like, it was not a torrential so, downpour you, while we were setting You had boys. this conversation with... I think Cade or someone, you didn't even notice it was raining because the hunt went so fast. Yeah, I was you were like in I, go mode. He was in go. Yeah, yeah, you guys both were. Yeah, fat yeah. boy was running out chasing birds, <laughs> grabbing dogs. I looked birds, at my archers. I looked at my hands a couple times and they were covered in nothing but feathers and blood and completely soaked. And I'm like, huh. Because yeah. that was the next thing yeah. to do. You had nothing else. That was yeah, the next thing you had to do. One of the highest paced hunts that paced hunts that I've had in a while. Yeah. Like it was shoot, we'd go get our birds, line everything up, keep track of everything, sit down, catch your breath, start calling again. It was. Yeah. So we got done setting the spread and we parked at a gas station nearby and just sat in the truck and waited till the birds were going to start to fly yeah. just because we didn't want to get wet. It was bad. And, and all of a sudden, like, I don't know, five, 10 minutes after shooting light, we all ran out there and not five minutes after that. It was well, that, on. that whole day was nuts though. Like the first first go was like thirty minutes after shooting light. Yeah. And it was still so dark. 
Like it was Yeah, dark. it was really overcast, deep overcast. Like the decoys, you could just see a dark spot and then birds. Like it was dark. But here's some footage from it. Um, you're just going to run a couple clips? Yeah, yeah, we'll run a couple clips. But uh, I don't know, one of the the big <laughs> noticeable ones that we can start out with is, and I haven't showed, I don't know if I've showed you guys this yet, but we shot into a group and – I bet eight birds fell. I, I you guys went and picked them yeah, up. There but was, I bet there eight were birds seven in a, like yeah. a five to six foot area. It Not was even, yeah. crazy, and you can see it all on the video. Yeah. They just fall right there. Because he got out there first. I remember he looked back and he's like, yeah. it was like <laughs> one, two, three, yeah. four in one spot. So yeah, awesome hunt. It was. They did it, it close. Fun. It was nuts. Yeah, I was glad that that hunt was fast because it was. I was getting cold. I left my waterproof bibs. Yeah. In the truck. I was soaked. Everybody was ready to get back. We didn't didn't take a picture out there, and we just got right back, got to cleaning, and... Yeah. So, yes, this this hunt was was impressive. Uh, The first day, this was a second day hunt, that one that you just seen. That was a second day uh, hunt um, of of a three-day. Old Rain Johnson, he's in the background over here, uh, country singer. If you don't know him, look him up on Instagram, Rain, Rain Johnson. But he was here on the first hunt, and we absolutely got pooped on. Yep. In the morning, in the evening, we 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 tried to recover in the evening. Uh, knew that it was going to be a you know a shoot in the dark, but if it happened, it happened. Uh, but the second day of that hunt, we really made up for it. Cody Stokes, the owner of Dive Bomb, was in the blind, and that was special for me. Yeah. I mean, that yeah. Was, he was super stoked. He's like, he told me after that hunt, he's like, I've been to Kansas for. I've been to Kansas four times and I've never I, I lost hope in hunting yeah. Kansas. He's like that switched it around hundred percent. He he looked at me in the blind on his he said, Bobby, do you guys do do you guys provide hunts like this all the time? And I'm like, Yeah, Cody. And oh. and and to and to to speak on that, guys, um, what would you say? Uh sixty five percent of the hunts they haven't seen. Yeah, a lot. Oh, so, at least seventy sure. percent. And and the only way they might see it is Through I've done a couple media. little montage deals or, or on pictures Instagram. and videos, whatever. Yeah. yeah. Like yeah. P Diddy will post some, some videos on Instagram. Uh, but other than that, um, guys, I, I know that you guys want to see the duck hunt. So um, that's what I really focus on. I, I really want to provide what you guys want to see. So uh, when it comes to guide and clients and goose hunts, I put my mind to guiding and then make sure that, that things run good. And me and Gerald are in the field usually. Um, when he's not, Drew is Drew or Joe is, is. Or Joe is. You know, so it's amazing. I, I love putting my putting my mind to the grindstone and just getting after it and loving it. I, I enjoy it so much. Yeah. So hunt number two, I see duck hunt. Yeah. So I see mallards. Oh. Big water. Gerald, Ice hole. Gerald and Drew didn't get to make it out. I didn't to that get to one. make it to that one. No, nope. it was just me and Preston. It was Preston's big watershed. Y'all have seen it uh, multiple times. This was the uh, this was the silencer hunt, the twelve gauge silencer hunt. Uh, a lot of you have seen it. Most of you have that that video has done amazing. Thank you guys for watching it. Uh, but we're gonna watch some footage here. Uh, all I can say on this hunt is that the morning was slow like usual, and then when these birds started showing up, they committed yeah. all they needed was noise a chuckle all the way down to the spread and as long as you didn't get too loud or, or do anything crazy you just chuckled them all the way down yeah they it was it, it, it was crazy from the heavens muscle man i mean it was yep. just body <laughs> it was yeah bodybuilder it was insane uh i remember <laughs> one flock came in and there was pintail in it and on that side I don't see a lot of pintail. I grew up hunting on that side of Kansas, and I do not see a lot of pintail. Hardly ever. Yeah, and and I remember vaguely there was one right in our face, really close, but back there was a beautiful sprig. Did they, did they die? No. They did not we die. didn't shoot on that we did, go. We waited. Oh, good. I remember we after greedy. you said, I, I, I was going to call it, but, yeah, we waited. We waited for a bigger group, and I, I don't know. I think we ended up dropping seven out of that group, but he, he was uh, – it, most of this footage you're going to see is GoPro stuff, but I have some phone phone video that actually might turn out pretty well on YouTube too. Cause I didn't bring my camera that day. It was like, 
I you, wanted the, I wanted can, to shoot. You can put that in there if you want. Oh, I'm gonna put I'm gonna put the GoPro and I'm phone stuff you, in. Your editing skills are just poop. Yeah, they're they're <laughs> junk. <laughs> that was funny because you threw the poop in there and it didn't. You couldn't even. <laughs> oh man. No, I was real stoked about that day. So I was scouting whatever I'm scouting. I'm so interested to see how the hunt yeah, is going. Whenever you're not on. So it. I'm just like, I'm like, all right, I'm scouting, scouting, scouting. I'm like, all right, I better check Instagram, see if Preston or Bobby's updated. And it was like all morning was nothing. And I was like, gosh. I'm like the exact like, opposite of you. Like, I don't want to like. I'm so like You don't want to bother it. No, but I don't want like, I'm not bothered. I'm just looking. You don't want to no, jinx I need, it. No, I, I, just, I just don't. I want to hear it all like straight out of your mouth. Like I just want to. actual experience. I just want to like, know. Like, oh, yeah. I was like, all right. Birds on, they're having, birds a, in a, video, they're having but, a good time, yeah. you know. Yeah. And it was like, God, what was it like nine thirty? Yeah, I mean yeah. it was late. It was a migration usually, day. Usually that is like a at sun up. It, it, uh, it's if going down. If you've seen any of the first, I don't know, five, six, seven times I took taken Bobby out there, it's like lights out shooting for the first thirty minutes. And I don't know what it is about that place this it's year. Changed, but the the water is like a foot and a half down. Oh, it's more than that. It, yeah, it's it's crazy. So. I don't know why that would affect birds and where they roost, and because normally that's a roost shoot. Yeah, but it hasn't been lately. It's been more of a loaf, especially that time before we shot honkers there. Yeah. It's the, weird the amount of ducks that are roosting on it in the morning. I, I remember pulling in there and we'd kick up. How many? Well, it's just like oh, a crazy it's a homing beacon there. Like yeah, we went and scouted it just the other day, and it's like you, there's so much water there. And you just check every piece of water. It's like nothing, 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 nothing. You go to there, and it's just, yeah, right. just ducks everywhere. Right. Best duck hunt of the season so far for Shirley. Um, but number three, what's number three? Well, we're gonna have to kick Drew out of here and get old Joe. Number three. Oh, number three was the twenty gauge hunt. Mm-hmm. Drusive was on it, but we do have to was bring there. in yeah. in Joe because Joe, Joe got Joe ran it. Dude, Joe, this area of, the, of this field, Joe has been there. He has been assigned to this place, and he has just ran it over and provided so much, um, just so much good interaction with the farmers and landowners uh, that this hunt People was one. Yeah, he, man. He's actually getting his mail there now. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. He basically lives there. You have an um, address over there already? Yeah, he does. I mean, I'd be okay with that. Huh. It, he doesn't have any place to stay. He just sleeps in his truck and just put a mailbox right there. And then <laughs> forty just miles away from the lodge. Have you seen his trailer? He'll sleep in that thing. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, it, my my it's trailer. still sitting there though. I know it's it. mine. <laughs> <laughs> but Joe, here is Joe. He provided this hunt. He has provided so many good lesser hunts in the last just three weeks. It's unbelievable. Yeah. I got him all sweaty. Come on, for Joseph. You. Come on. Ooh. Ooh. Come on, Mr. Mr. Shaden. Oh, there he is. Well, let's start off with it, Shaden. <laughs> oh, sorry. I've no, called. Shaden what is, is what's on? behind him when the sun's up. <laughs> 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 oh, I love Late it. to the party as usual. Old I'm Joe B. Shaden. <laughs> no, but this is Joe. Uh, a lot of you have not met him. He's um, new. He is very, yeah, he's new. He's been buddies with, with Gerald for a long while now, uh, and and I welcome you. Like I did at the beginning. Thank you for thank you. Thank you for every darn thing you do. I you might are be new here, but I am actually the oldest. You know, no. he's the <laughs> oldest. Actually, to flash back to some of the stuff that he said. So the first time he met you was in North Dakota, uh-huh. and how you were saying how the whole point of this that everybody can see the real side, not necessarily like real, but a little more of what what we're about. You know, so many people have a different opinion. He's like, oh, it's a YouTuber. He's not serious. He's not nothing. You know, Joe had never met you. Yep. All he'd heard is opinions of people, what people say about you. I had my inst- own. He, the instant, you know, the instant yeah. he met you in North Dakota, and he's like, okay, I can, yeah, he's I can a get real dude. He's guy. just like any one of yeah. my other hunting buddies. Yeah, yeah. he's just real 100%. ugly, you know, yeah. but he's a <laughs> great dude. Beautiful, Great hair, though. Beautiful wife. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Beautiful Thank wife. Thank you. No, no mine, mine. Oh, oh mine. I thought you were saying mine. Sorry. Like, yours, you. is, yours is great as well, but ugly as hell. Beautiful one. Oh, no, yeah. you definitely outkicked the yeah, covers. Yeah, it was yeah. for sure. <laughs> I did yeah. it. I did it, Betty. I did it. <laughs> it's happened. <laughs> you better uh, share some of your secrets with uh, Drew over here. No. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> no way. Those are locked in the safe for yeah. sure. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, this is uh, the third hunt. Uh, this was honestly, man, 
If, if I had to pick a goose hunt, a lesser hunt over the last five years, this one was it. Yeah. Sunny it, day, a little crazy. bit of good wind, big, 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 dark. Sock, silo spread, a lot of guns. I mean, how many people did I think we, we actually, had 11 shooters at We had 11 yeah. shooters and then three, two, two I, in the back. I was calling the shot behind the shooters, and then we had Preston and Brad yeah. both filming behind me. So that would have been yeah. 12, 13, 14 people in the field. Yeah. Yep. <clears throat> that we had to hide. So In dark. Guys, it, it, it doesn't matter the shooters that don't. It's just when you can hide this many people and have this good of a hunt, that's what it's like. Boom. Right. You know, you did it. It was a good fit. Yeah, it's a lot of work. It's a yeah. lot of work. It's a ton. That was that was a 1,400 decoys set, yeah. you know. 1,400 decoys. If you want to hide that many people, that's what it takes here. In Kansas, Minnesota, honker hunters, guys, this is not. This is not refer to you. No. This is, this is down Oklahoma, Kansas, Texas. Uh, and it, it was just one of those special days, too. It was a special day You know, we can set sure. that a million times, and... You'll have different results, but that was just one exactly. of them hunts that yeah. I yeah. will never forget. How many times did we sit that spread? This yeah, year? right, right, right. And we've had some good hunts, but that one that was the one that stuck out this year. These for sure. birds on this hunt, they just came right. when when they came over the tree line and didn't stop. They didn't stop <laughs> coming. They didn't turn. Pretty much every bird that day just came. Well, yeah. the first I would say three to five groups in the low light. Right, right at shooting time, we struggled a little bit. We didn't get them all the way in where we would have liked them, but obviously that progressed from then on out. Uh, I think we finished in under, under forty minutes with uh, it was, you know, we'll say ten and a half. We always stop a little shy mm-hmm. just so there's no mistakes. Um, but the birds just kept coming even after that, and we all laid and watched the show. So yeah, we got to literally sit down for twenty, thirty minutes and just. Relax, gab, laugh, and watch geese yeah. land on your feet. Giggle yeah. like little kids. Well, I remember, <laughs> I remember so again that day I was scouting. Carol didn't yeah. hunt again. And, and I was on Instagram and That's I was a like, weird trend. And I was just, oh, <laughs> yeah, please. <laughs> God. Oh, <laughs> so, oh, what a, what a, God. That's can't terrible. Say those. Oh, well, Jill lost See, his right <laughs> now, there would be some poop talking going on and there'd be some good language. So this, that's what's going to be yeah. on the podcast. Anyways, but I remember ahead. that day, again, I was on Instagram. I was like, all right, how's it going? But it was immediate. I was like, all right. So they got into a group, got into groups. Like, oh, my God. And we're done. <laughs> and then I was like, why are they not shooting? It's just birds just landing and landing and landing. I was like, why are they not shooting? And then the next Instagram posts with uh, Preston, or no, it was you, all done, just watching the show. And I was like, yeah. That's a real big sign of relief when, right. you're, when you're scouting. You're just like, whew. Okay. There's so much okay. work, you know. Yeah, There's I mean, a lot of work, man. Yeah. yeah I, not from one person. Right. No, not I mean, from one truck. Thousands of miles. Not right. from one gallon out of right. one truck of fuel. It, it, it's a bunch. Yeah. It's a lot of energy expelled. Yeah, Anyways, number different. four. Go. Number four, huh? What are we doing number four? I forgot. Well, you lined them up. Oh, oh. What's number four? The Rock Pond. Rock oh. Pond. I was not here at this point. So. No. Yeah, should we swap? Swap out? Oh, you can stay here. Yeah, I'll hang out. I mean, if so, uh, Drew was drinking which, his coffee. Which Rock Pond, the first or second? So this is the one where we had like 10 people. Second or first? You had second. The second. We had, okay. uh, you Beth's, ended up going to Scout. Yeah. Yep, yep. You had Beth's uh, doctor friends yep, in. Yep, yep. And I yep. had two it was a South, South that wind. Yep. South and wind. then huh. who else was there? We had, uh, dude, we had... I mean, a good we had a crew, four, four or five, six clients, and mm-hmm. the doctors too, and yeah, we, we had, had ten shooters. We had ten shooters. Yeah. Jordan was there. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, we had nine shooters. <laughs> ten was me. I left to go scout, um, and the the morning was slow. I mean, that I think that's the way it goes. There, the uh, you have to let them start flying. Um, you gotta let them just bat their. When it was water while. too, it was a loaf time. It was yeah. This was this pond. Time. We have hunted, what, three good hunts off of, and it's a loaf pond. They see water, and they're intrigued. Yeah. Uh, they're not necessarily all headed to it. You just pull them down. You guys want a refresher? Rain It's going to bring you a drink here. Oh, oh. <laughs> Are you coffee. parched? Yeah. As you can tell, we're using coffee cups today <laughs> on the rest of the podcast Extra episodes creamer. on Patreon. <laughs> we won't be using coffee cups. 
So, I think again, before we get into number four and you show the footage, I'm sure you showed a little bit of the footage yeah, so far. Yeah. Uh, guys, Patreon, link down in the description. Uh, we're going to start doing four to eight to six. We'll be sure to do enough for your $5 every 30 days. Um, like I said, I, I would cut out a McDonald's meal. To oh, come on. This. <laughs> you love What about McDonald's? the Burger King breakfast sandwiches from the last few oh, days? Yeah. Delivery, man. Yeah, true. <laughs> True. I'm First just class. saying, if you want to go see uh, some more raw stuff just like this and, and you like chilling with us for longer periods of time, like 30, 40 minutes, an hour maybe, yeah, we're going go over there, man. Solid yeah, right. Go over there and, and, and go 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 subscribe to it. You can use, I'm sure, PayPal or, or a credit card yep. and, and it won't be bad. But uh, And you're helping me. You're supporting all this. You're going you're gonna to help us buy new decoys. To be honest with you, I'll be very, 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 very see through with it. Um, all that money will go to the to the lodge and help us supporting perf- all of us. Yes, it it'll help us perform better, have it, better it equipment, pro- provide. It, well, it takes it, it take it is like a lot of people think like outfitters like oh they make so much money, so much money. It costs so much to do what we're doing. It's it incredible. costs so much to hunt. <clears throat> yeah, it, that and a lot food, gas is insane right yeah and food that, that I mean, that's gas. one thing that, that i go i go through guaranteed at least a tank every day yep at the minimum yeah i mean i'm driving mm. an hour every day yeah. each way we're doing a buddy hunt tomorrow yeah. and i took a tank of gas yeah. Yeah. like <laughs> yeah we have a little public duck hunt coming your way mm-hmm. we're just gonna go buddy hunt it's uh new year's and we have some time off yeah. anyways number four what is it five we're on five. Oh, we, we didn't did. talk oh. much about the rock pond no oh, we, so so yeah. rock pond anyways this pond hadn't been hunted in what did Kurt say? A gajillion years. Well, like so I, years. I would personally like I've asked on this pond like the first year I was out where I used to work, and that was a no. So that was like six years ago when I first started helping out there and everything. So at minimum, so just waiting and waiting. Yeah, just so, biding your time. So basically, the yeah. you know these same birds. Show up to the same area, and they expect that pond to be nice and safe and close to town. And they and are <laughs> sand hill fly, <laughs> sand hill fly. We kind of got it under their belt, and the reaction is really awesome. There, you it get is, to experience it, something great. You can see the difference between totally trusting birds. <laughs> oh, yeah, <man. laughs> it's it's awesome. It's like, not bedtime anymore, boys. Like there was, <laughs> which I'm sure you have you have a video. Oh yeah, you do because you posted on yeah, Instagram. Yeah, I think. yeah. And right on the now. video, I remember watching it, like, they got way closer than that. Like, they just kept coming. They skipped the water completely, and we're going to land on the bank right oh. in front. They were so close. So close. Can, and can, it was awesome. Can we throw in the uh, bird that we were trying to chase that was landing there, or had been setting there a lot, that that uh, quill? Oh, oh uh, they're still there. They were there the other day. They're still there. We're yeah. chasing. We're chasing a quill. There's two there. of them. One's yeah. One's incredible. The other one's just, just a cool looking bird. Yeah. We 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 see a lot of special birds. A lot of snow lesser mix that have all white necks and heads. But between the quill and the white necks, yeah, those are the two that we and the hybrid that we shot in November, which was <coughs> extremely Opening special. Opening day. Opening extremely, day. That's the first hunt of the year. Extremely special. Um, That's an awesome hunt. We've seen a lot of the white necks, white head, lesser. So I have seen several shot this year too on social media. Yeah, you know, there's a lot roaming around. So yeah. yeah, get out there and you'll find them. Anyways, so what's number, that, number, that five. number five? Number five traffic number hunt five. with uh, traffic hunt with Jackson. Jackson's yes. great. Yeah. That was a that was a fun hunt. We had great so wind fun. that day. Really good wind. Really and the good birds. Sun. sun at our back. Yes. I can't preach See, that enough Joe, as a South cameraman. Winds. South winds. We I was South, talking to Joe today. He's yeah. like, oh, north winds are fine. I was like, I freaking hate north winds. South wind, hiding in white, sunny skies. Big spreads. But that, that's when we went live on or the, the dive bomb takeover. Was it, yeah. was it white? Yeah. Yeah, it was dive bomb takeover We did the dive bomb takeover. We, we shot were, the band. That was a north wind. No, that was a south wind. Oh, that yeah. was that hunt. Yeah, that was this yeah. hunt. Yeah, yeah. yeah, you're right. Yeah. You're right. It I was awesome. Film, yeah. I didn't film that hunt this day. That day, I had a. I, I oh, posted we a, did do a, a guide little, hunt. Really yeah, we did. We did a video. That, that bird was sixteen years old. Yep. sixteen year old less. We remember man. we did a bet, not a bet, but yeah. just curious. Like went from client to client. It's like, how old do you think it is? How oldest oldest guess was nine. Nine. 
And I was your, your I, guess was like ten, 10. right? I, I said no. I think I said like eight or something. Yeah, ten. yeah. Did I? Because I said yeah, you're about right. I bet you're right. Yeah, but yeah, sixteen. Because I remember I I punched it in, and it said double check, uh, odd like oddly old or something weird. Yeah, it's like this is really really old bird. Oh God, this copy is <laughs> making me burp. <laughs> so <laughs> this traffic hunt. Where were they setting? Because I, I, I don't go out and scout that often. I'm most so of the those, time I stay home and edit stuff. But where, like, where were the birds starting? Where, where were they l- going to feed before? Where were we trafficking? Uh, so there was two different feeds off there of? at that point. There was one basically right in front of where we were and then right behind where we were. So, I mean, we were right in the middle of two feeds, and we had a really good win that day. Like, almost perfect. Not too much, not too little. Um South wind because they're way better than north. <laughs> uh, Never going to hear the end of this. You won't. I hate staring in the sun. It's terrible. It's well, awful. I agree. It's a pointless. million percent. But. Yeah. And everybody shoots better. There was great shooting that day. It wasn't like this side shooting better or this side. Every time we shot all across the board, birds were falling. That makes a huge difference. Huge. Yeah. And it's fast. Yeah. And they would skirt across. They wouldn't go out. They would, Remember where they come across and then they'd leave to the left. Yeah, so they would they Every would time they would home in, the left. and then they would almost finish, and then twenty yards, thirty yards, twenty five, and then start boogieing left and get a little bit closer, and then just mow them. It was great. The left shooters really did good on that. They day. did. That the was, left uh, side shooter, Tristan and his brothers. Yeah, and, Tristan's brother. But Jackson and them are. Yeah, Jackson. They they, they, they all are great shot shots. Amazing. Yeah. Yeah. That day, uh, I think that. Uh, the time of month too, um, you know, we can talk about fresh birds till we're blue in the face. But I think that in November, um, you know, new birds to the area, they're going to be uh, finding new new grounds and kind of just not being so safe to say. You well, know, I feel like, like November is a lot of our calendar birds. Yeah. No matter what, like we have that that first. Whether it's big or little, but those birds show up. They've been traveling around the same time. The yeah. rest of the year seems to be pretty strictly based off weather, right. when we get new and, and when we don't. Which but, has been a warm year up north. Yeah, yeah it's I just know. now. Yeah, getting some snow. Just now, and and today we watch snows all day. Yep, just yes. pile in. Getting excited. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, exactly. And we actually looked at them. We went and looked at them, and so you got the edges that are all solid white, and in the center is just. Ray. Oh. Oh, you know what that means, boys. Getting our butt kicked by snow. Yeah. Rotaries. <laughs> Rotaries and trying to make our lesser calls sound like a snow goose. Uh, I just sit there. <clears throat> Let me just throw one other thing in about that hunt, the band. Oh, yeah. Jackson reached into the bag and first, pulled out the right. Well, that happened twice one. in a row this year. Yeah. Well, are you talking about the pigeon hunt, too? No, we're talking about Charlie. Charlie, no, Charlie, Charlie and Jackson. Yeah. No, uh, it happened to the... It, it's happened... We've had four bands this year. Because we shot another oh. band at the Rock Pond later, and yeah. then that girl got oh. it. Oh. Yeah. First pick? First pick. So, Jackson first pick. Then we had that little pigeon hunt that, that just us guys did. Yeah. And, oh, Drew was a second on that one. I drew first. Yeah. Anyways, but, but yeah, I know. <clears throat> but, but anyways, it, the traffic count was amazing. Yeah, I think that uh, we're gonna we're we're gonna as far as footage goes and and describing videos, uh, the next the next scene will be one of the probably best uh, experiences I've had. Mm-hmm. I Absolutely, think, I already I know what you're talking about. And, yeah. and Joe has had um, th- this day. We had a little girl, Charlie, and a little redhead girl, man, and and. <clears throat> She's a killer, a stone like cold killer, and loves it. Killer. Like she's yeah. not doing it for social media. Her she's her, not doing it for anything. Her and her dad have a YouTube channel, and I'm so sorry, I can't remember the name of the YouTube channel right now. I'm sorry, Charlie. Uh, but Don't Charlie, us. Charlie, um, we had we had two kids that Joe elected that needed to be in the band. I didn't tell well, he didn't. About he it. didn't tell anybody so about you the band. Yeah. Oh yeah. We had a oh yeah. You were chasing that cripple. Yeah, in the pond behind us. I just and, get a Snapchat uh, th- from him saying <laughs> "Yeehaw, <laughs> Yahtzee." He said "Yahtzee." Yahtzee. Yahtzee. That's uh, it. So yeah, Bob was behind us chasing a cripple in the pond, <laughs> and uh, I went out. Trip went on a long retrieve out to the center of the field. One floated out there, and I think we picked up four more right in the kill hole. And I walked up to the last one that I had picked up, 
and I seen the leg was just sticking out with a band, and I was pretty excited. Bat, uh, Brad was with us, actually, and yep. he ran out to film a uh, trip bringing a bird back, and I was, like, whispering to him, and I kept the band tight to me, and I didn't tell anybody, and uh, I wanted to surprise and figure something out for the kids, obviously, and so we waited for Bob to get back in the blind and everything to settle down a little bit and came up with a plan to uh, just bring the two kids out front and yeah. let them draw for it. So Absolutely. They deserve it. It was a 50-50 chance with two, yeah. two kids. Yeah. And I remember because I didn't know who won it until, again, I was scouting. Yeah. Weird. <laughs> yeah. Gerald wasn't there. <laughs> Sorry. Someone's got to work. God, you missed a lot of the good ones this year. I've made a lot of good ones, too. Just that's so you know. No, that's true. <laughs> but, but It's a team effort. Every day. Yeah, is. So. absolutely. It just so happens that some of the best ones I wasn't there. On, <laughs> whatever. It just but, uh, shows that everyone can. But I remember seeing it on Instagram when she got it. She yeah. jumped so high. Oh, just and done. Ecstatic. I don't know what Tony Hawk does yeah. <laughs> on those things, but I'm pretty sure it was that many spins. Yeah. So, like, it was, yeah. it was nuts. It was awesome. I was so yeah. stoked. I remember I had to pull over because I was like, all right, you got to chill out so you don't wreck. Right. <laughs> it was fun. She yeah. about cried that day. Yeah. The yeah. It was awesome. Face. Yeah. It's, and she knew right away, too, because we didn't say nothing. I just had yeah. a stocking cap from somebody, took two shells, empties, you know, put a W on the brass of one, L on the other one. Um, <laughs> we, <laughs> loser. No, sorry. Uh, but brought the kids out and um, born and raised. Born to raise. Yep. They were, yeah, well, they were there. Cody and them were uh, there. Brad was there. Bob was filming. So it was a real neat experience for everybody. Um, obviously, ladies first. We let her draw. Um, didn't tell them how it was marked or anything like that until both of them got the show. She has seen the W. Yeah, no, and she, she didn't. She didn't. But, oh, but before I... They, I yeah, had, they grabbed it and looked confused yeah, for a they second. Didn't, before they I, didn't know because it was identical shells. Yeah, but before oh. I even had them draw, they came out and they were like, what's going on here? They didn't, like, we didn't tell them exactly, you know? So, and then she kind of looked at me and her eyes got big and she's like, oh my God, we got a band. Yeah. We got a freaking <laughs> band. Knew. We got a freaking band. Yeah. And I, you know, obviously I couldn't keep... I think I just face, seen that so. she posted her version of the video really yeah on youtube i follow yeah. her on instagram now nice yeah and i'm pretty sure huh. is it her and her dad that do it or yeah, yeah. he does taxidermy too yeah. right yep. 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 Yeah. yeah so she's gonna, gonna mount that yep. with the band on it yep. she yeah. should. it's gonna be her first bird i believe that she's mounting herself he's gonna help oh her. oh i think oh. that's the awesome. story i got uh, well if you watch this i want to see right and yes. i want to see how it co- i want to see that mount yeah. send us a picture charlie, of the bird and the no, bird just yeah. charlie <laughs> send me a picture of it when he's done on the wall yeah yeah Absolutely. Absolutely. That was a special moment for all of us involved, I think. That's yeah, we were all so, we were, I mean, just as excited as she was. Right, I was yeah. super pumped. And and that day we shot, what, 24 birds, probably? So yeah, something like that. So it, yeah. so it wasn't the best, it was not a bad hunt, obviously, but it wasn't the best. And, right. and But that experience, uh, getting to experience that, you know, I have kids, Joe has kids. These two don't, but it's awesome. it doesn't matter. Like when you get to provide that. Oh you know, yeah, exactly. It's so special. Well, I, and I, even I, me getting to hunt with other kids because I don't get to share that with my son as much as I'd like. Working out of state and you know him being farther away, so that is even more special to me just to be yeah. able to share that with somebody. You get to have so, that time. Yeah, oh yeah, you two are both lovers to your children. <laughs> yeah, ridiculous. yeah, but. That's uh that's our top five Sand Hill hunts of 2020 so far. Yep. Uh, we got a little bit of we got one <coughs> month of uh, 2021 season <clears throat> before these guys go off and like 23 go. days. Yeah. Be, yeah. Before they go. Start 20. Chasing. We have 20 days of hunting left. Yeah. Of actual. That's crazy. Oh. it's went so fast. I got a late start over here. I'm kind of sad. God, what are we going to do when you guys leave? <clears throat> well, we got to start on these podcasts for one thing. Right. You got to get some built up. Is there a way guys. for me to do it while I'm out of Yeah, so, so you can, can call? I can plug in my uh, phone if as long as we get better service in here, which is coming. Yep. Plug it in, we can give you a call and see how it's going, do a do a an Arkansas awesome. snow goose update. Well, I think we want you to come down. Yeah. Uh, actually, so I I talked to so whenever you come down, we actually need to call Tracy tomorrow. Or the next day or whatever and figure it out. Because when you come down, I want you, you, hopefully you're working there. And uh, Cade said he'd come too. Oh, yeah. yeah. He's only hop, skipping and jumping away. He yeah. He's like an hour. He's yeah. like an hour yeah. away. Yeah. He's he's not far from our farthest spread from where we hunt. Gotcha. Like like 20 minutes from yeah. where. Wow. Yeah. Uh, That'll work out real good. Yeah. The old crawfish pond. Yeah. My spot. <laughs> oh, yeah. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, in the YouTube version here. And we'll cut over to 
little bonus stuff on Patreon that you can only get there. So, yeah, we're going to extend this podcast. Uh, We're going to end it right now for all you YouTube viewers. Like I said, link in the description, guys. I've been blowing and and yelling. It's not puberty, Gerald. That's for the next one. (laughs) Early. My bad. (laughs) But link in description. Give it time. Go over to uh, Patreon. Five bucks a month. I, I... you don't have to do it. I'm not telling you you have to. I'm just saying if you wanna if you wanna be here with us, you're more than welcome. I mean, pick up some change on the ground. You can find find five bucks in a month. Just literally, um, it shouldn't be hard. Raid the but, couch. I mean, yeah, Bodhi hides all kinds of stuff. Yeah. Like that. Yeah, my <laughs> son is pretty good <laughs> at it. For I guarantee sure. you, he's got money in the couch. <laughs> yeah, he only owes owes me what twenty four thousand dollars. No, he, <laughs> the, he gave me the twenty five cents. But I had to loan loan him the quarter back oh. for something else. Yeah, so. he broke he broke your your. Let's not get yeah, into that. Yeah, it's all good. <laughs> <laughs> please, please, go check out the Patreon. Uh, I appreciate, I, I really appreciate you guys being here. All of us do. If you guys, if it wasn't for you guys, this roof wouldn't be here. We wouldn't be here. Joe, Preston. I wouldn't have AG, a job. No. <laughs> yeah. I, I, we all would not be here, and this wouldn't be happening if you guys hadn't been on my side since day one for the last four years. So thank you guys. Thank you guys. Thank you guys. And we'll see you on the next one.